Hi, welcome once again to the Mojima and Science. In today's class, we'll see how to find missing angles and sides of triangles using sine and cosine rule. We'll use this question. The question says PQ and PQR are locations in the same horizontal plane and the bearing of PQ from P is 130 degrees. The first thing is to pick the bearing of PQ from P. It says the bearing of PQ from P is 130 degrees. 130 degrees is more than 90, so I should have it downwards this way. Now, it says, and the bearing of R from Q, let's label it first. This is P. Let's label this part Q. And the bearing of R from Q is 75 degrees. I've picked my knots again. I'm to pick my bearing, that's 75 degrees, will be in the first quadrant, is 75 degrees. That means here is 75 degrees. Now the question now says, if PQ is 6 meters, if PQ is 6 meters, and QR is 4 meters, QR is 4 meters. My question now says, find the bearing of R from P. The bearing of R, this is R. That means the bearing of R from P. Now, before we even draw that, I want us to define some angles. Now, look at here. This angle, the angle that is left here, here is 130 degrees. The angle that is left here and what you have here are alternating angles. So, if here is 130 degrees, definitely the angle on a straight line is 180. I'll have 50 degrees left here. Now, that means what I have here is 50 degrees. Now, if I have 50 degrees in here, I'm now asked to find the bearing of R from P. Here is R. The bearing of R from P is simply this angle that you have out here. Now, we already have a triangle. We have triangle P, Q, and R. Now, let's, so that we're looking for the angle, let's call this angle X. I like to call this angle X for convenience sake. Then I like to call what I have inside the triangle here, angle Y. Now, let's draw out the triangle for convenience sake. I'll use another slide to pick the triangle for convenience sake. I have it as P, Q, and R. Okay. That's triangle I have it as P, Q, and R. That's triangle P. That's came like this, P, Q, and R. This Q, this P, this Q, and this is R. Now, in here, we had 50 and 75 degrees which makes up to 125 degrees in here. Now here it was six meters and here is four meters. Now we called the angle that is in here Y and we don't know this side. Now if I label it properly, I'll label this part as Q. Now from cosine rule, obviously we know that Q squared is equals to P squared plus r squared minus 2pr cos q. Now, q squared will be equals to 6 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 into 6 into 4 cos 125. If you, if you sum up this, if you sum this up, if you sum this up, Q squared will be equals to 79.531. So that Q will be equals to 8.918. So that if Q is equal to 8.918. Now, if Q is equal to 8.918, we can define for Y. Let's take a look once again at the main, the main figure. Here, we know Y. We're actually interested in X, but we also need 
y and here we have gotten this side of the triangle to be 8.918 sorry let's go back to the main figure we've gotten the side of the triangle to be 8.918 now to solve for y in here to solve for y what we need to do is use sine rule let's use sine rule and we'll now solve for y to solve for y we know that from sine rule from over sine y is equals to 8.918 over sine 125 now the, 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 the length opposite for sine rule will say that the side over the sine of the angle opposite it is equals to this side over the sine of the angle opposite it. That is P, we can establish it sine P over sine P is equals to Q over sine Q and will be equals to R over sine R. So that sine y now will be equals to 8.918. If we cross multiply, will be equals to sorry, not 8.918. If we cross multiply, if we cross multiply, sine y will be equals to 4. Will be equals to so that sine y will be equals to 4 sine 125 over 8.918 now if you now take the sine inverse if you multiply this out and you take the sine inverse you discover that your y will be equals to 21.6 degrees 21.6 degrees now y here is equal to 21.6 degrees let's go back to our main our main figure let's go back to our main figure now if y is equals to 26 21.6 degrees y is equals to 21.6 degrees you agree with me that x which we define which is the bearing we are actually looking for x plus 21.6 degrees plus 50 is equals to 180 degrees that's angle on a straight line so that x now plus 71.6 degrees is equals to 180. Then x will be equals to 180 minus 71.6 degrees. x is equals to 108.4. 108.4 degrees. Now the question says we should to the nearest degree. 0.4 is not, is not up to 0.5. So I can approximate this x to now be equals to 108 degrees. Thank you and have a very nice time.